I'm checking out some vents and other componentry for going through water and making sure that um, everything would be good depending on how much water depth you went through. According to the manual for the Ram Power Wagon, the, there's two heights. There's a 24 inch height and a 30 inch height depending on the speed you go through the water. So I was looking at the, the vents and other things uh, to take and see what might cause an issue or what might be the lowest points for that purpose. So I have the dual alternator package on this particular truck and this uh, alternator here on the lower part, there's one above it on the other side. And the lower, lowest point on this alternator is around 36 inches. So certainly wouldn't want to get that wet. And also there's a connector there. It's a little higher up. That's probably around maybe two inches higher or thereabouts uh, right in this area down there. You can see it centered on the camera right at the uh, alternator. The other spot that's always uh, somewhat of a concern is the air intake. Now this one, and I don't know if it's standard with all of the power wagons, but this 2024 model has the air filter here, of course, and then there's an air intake uh, piping that comes up and goes into this area. And I didn't take the shroud off to take a look and see what it looks like underneath there, but it looks like it's fairly high up. And you know, the, this point right here is around 54 inches high off the ground. So that's a pretty high intake. So I don't think I'll have any issues with that. So here is the uh, front axle vent tube uh, right here. And it's around 21 inches from the bottom of this area to the ground. So definitely if you went through more water depth than that, then it would certainly be covered. So I'm not sure how well that would uh, work. I'm sure it's got hopefully some kind of one-way valve that allows it to vent without sucking in any kind of water. But at any rate, it definitely is lower, actually the lowest spot on the truck as far as any kind of vents. The uh, transmission and the transfer uh, case is actually up a lot higher and I'm sure the vent is on top of that. So doubtful there would be any issues with any kind of water through fording or getting water into those vents from fording a reasonable amount of water. Here at the uh, bottom of this winch here, right in this spot right here, is at 24 inches to the ground right now and the electrical connection for this guy is back in there up higher so hopefully it would be out of the way i'm not sure what kind of uh waterproof rating this winch has hopefully it's uh fairly waterproof through this area here so water wouldn't be an issue there the uh, rear axle vent tube is up fairly high it is back up in there behind this piece here, a little further over. You can see the line there. It's up at least 34 to 36 inches off of the ground. So definitely high enough that that would not be an issue with the normal uh, water crossing. Other points of interest for water fording is how high this door seal is. Um, right at this point, Right at the bottom, right in this area, is around 30 inches tall from the ground. Now keep in mind, I have the larger 37 inch tires and I have a suspension uh, change with the third springs, etc. So the overall height of the truck is around four inches higher than the standard power wagon. Here is a view of the other alternator on the uh, driver's side. It's up much higher and definitely not a concern compared to the other alternator, which is much lower. So I think all in all, um, 20 inches of water would be no problem with this truck. Uh, 20 inches would get you right underneath here. So I think that would pretty much work for even the front vent tube. And hopefully again, that, that tube itself is uh, made so that you really can't get any water in there. Maybe at some point I'll extend that front tube up. But the other vents I think are okay and the alternator seems to be okay. and the, the air box definitely seems to be pretty well protected up at the top here. So I think I should be good for going through some water.